We have with us Anitra Smalls, a wealth of information about financial planning. Okay, Anitra, let's talk about all of the stimulus money that families have been receiving. What should they have been doing with this money? So with the stimulus money that families have been receiving, most uh, oftentimes what has happened now is families uh, had to get caught up on bills. So that's going to be always my number one suggestion because you have to have a roof over your head, you have to have food, and you also have, uh, you need a vehicle to drive. So definitely uh, take care of your immediate uh, necessities first. Also, we all know that there are large families out here, you know, so everybody has been getting family of four, you possibly got, I want to say like maybe 5,600 or so uh, in, in regards to the stimulus money. So with the extra that you have left over, you need to set aside some for an emergency fund, which because things happen, right? We have unexpected car expenses, just so many different things that could happen. You want to set aside that, emer that emergency fund. And then if you haven't learned anything else uh, since the pandemic has hit, uh, the most profitable people during this season has been business owners. So it is uh, going to be my suggestion that you don't necessarily have to start a business if that's not what you want to do, but for the extra learn how to invest your funds in other ways, because the only way for us to really win in life, especially um, if you're a minority uh, or any anybody, period, the only way for you guys to win is to have your money working for you. Uh, long gone are the days where, you know, we work until 62 to retire and to just live off of, <laughs> you know, that check or whatever that, you know, that was kind of popular back, you know, in my grandmother's days and stuff like that. That's not the day and age that we're in now because inflation exists. So what needs to happen now is you want to have your money work hard so that when your latter years do come, you're able to relax and have freedom. And ultimately, so we're not in, we're in the new, new day and age now where the most important thing now is time and is freedom. And we want to be able to recuperate that. And the only way to do that is that extra money that you have with the stimulus. You want to figure out how can I invest this money? Okay. Now, what about all those that receive that PPP money? What should they be doing? So the PPP has definitely been a hot topic, especially since the <laughs> SBA reopened it back up and they extended the deadline until May 31st. Uh, there's been a lot of misconceptions about who should get the money. And so I think that what a lot of people are don't understand is if you have a business, whether you are a sole proprietor, and what that essentially means is uh, you are using, um, you are the only person that owns your business. You are a single member LLC. You are considered a sole proprietor. Or if you have been doing, uh, you've been driving for Uber, Lyft, uh, you, maybe you've been 1099. So that means that you've been contracted, you've been getting contracted work. Uh, you guys all qualify for the PPP. If you have any type of side hustle, if you're filing that on your taxes, uh, if you if you're cutting hair, if you're, uh, you're you're a cosmetologist and you haven't fully established your business with the state, if you're still filing that income on your taxes, you qualify for the PPP because the PPP is payroll protection. It's a payroll protection program, so it covers lost wages. So when the government shut down uh, for about six seven months on last year 2020. A lot of you guys missed out on funds, club owners, restaurant owners, uh, bartenders, you guys that are working inside the, the, the bartenders, the servers, the hostesses, you guys were missing out on money, right, that you normally would have received had these businesses stayed open. You guys qualify for those funds. So don't feel um, ashamed or embarrassed for taking the money or let somebody guilt trip you into not taking it because essentially you should be applying for it. And the biggest thing with the PPP money is it is 100% forgivable. Okay. Yeah. And the SBA, they do have terms uh, that regulates uh, what you need to do. So even though the funds are forgivable, you have to apply for the funds to be forgivable. Okay. Now, when you apply for the funds to be forgivable, there, there is a criteria that has to be, uh, that's in place in order for the funds to be forgivable. That means that they have regulations on what would allow it to be forgivable. 60%, the biggest one that I tell everybody, 60% of it has to go to, uh, doesn't have to go, but it should go towards payroll. Uh, and mm. then the other uh, percentage of it uh, can go towards whatever your expenses is, gas, uh, you guys are, you know, you have software that you're using. All of this 
is is accounted into uh, the payroll protection um, program, and it, and it allows the the program um, the money that you receive to be forgiven. So just know the funds can be forgiven and keep your receipts. You guys are going out here. You're you know you're you're using these. Uh, you're buying these things uh, for your business for yourself because you are sole proprietor, single member, right? You need gas to be able to go up and down the road. You you have to uh, pay for uh, maybe you know a company expense as far as having business meetings as well. You know all of that goes into play, but sixty percent of it should go to payroll. That means that if you get uh, you know, let's say you get 10,000 or whatever the case may be, if you get that money back, allocate 60% out of that 10,000 to go towards payroll, to pay okay. yourself, okay? Let me tell you something, Anisha, we're gonna bring you back because we've got a whole lot to talk about while we're in this pandemic. And yes. we're gonna bring you back, but I, hey, but we've got to go. And I thank you so much for being here on Bounce Around Charleston. and. What is your contact information? So I am Anitra Smalls on all social media platforms. I also have a, a website, MeritCreditSolutions.org for any business owners that are interested in my services. You guys uh, or entrepreneurs, you guys are definitely welcome to visit there. Uh, but to reach me, Anitra Smalls, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, LinkedIn, all social media platforms. Okay, we thank you for being here on Bounce Around Charleston and you will be back sooner than you think. I can't thank wait. Join us next week for another Bounce Around Charleston.